Love comes in all forms. Just enough to wake us up. The whole world exists just for you. It's a fairy tale. How does it end? Um, what were the thoughts? What were your thoughts when you first read it? You gotta be honest now. When I first read it, I thought, "What I the won- hell is this?" No, I no. thought, "No, I thought, I wonder how I'm how I'll be able to do." I wasn't sure. I hadn't done this genre before, and also it was quite wordy to begin with. And I was thinking, "How am I going to make this sound? You know, what? How am I going to? How will I approach this? You know, because also it's very condensed." So. There were like a lot of question marks. And also, I absolutely love that feeling, personally, when I think, I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Mm. And that's kind of my favorite feeling. I mean, if I think it's easy, then I don't, I'm not so attracted to the job. It's like, how will I sort of climb this little hill or mountain or whatever and get over the other side? And so, and also, I just never done like a rom-com type thing before. But I was very excited by Tobias. I was very excited by John Carney. Um, I was excited to go to Dublin where we filmed it in the middle of a lockdown and to be able to go anywhere was amazing. And so, and it all, it kind of ticked so many boxes and in the end it ended up being just a brilliant experience. So that was a very long winded way of answering a question, which I can't even remember how we started it, but anyway. So. <laughs> um, what did I think? Um, yeah, I suppose I, what drew, what I liked about it was, um, that it was like a, like a sort of mature, um, a grown-up kind of look at love and like broken love. So not so a version where you know things haven't all gone right. Uh, it's sort of broken down, and then but you can still kind of recover and maybe refind it. And that felt like something that I I suppose I hadn't seen loads of, and it felt like an interesting uh, thing to to make an episode about. Also, I don't know about you, but I was also just remembering now. Mm-hmm. I was thinking that when I read it, without giving a spoiler, when that one bit happens, that happens, which changes everything. When I read it, I was like, what? That I was not seeing that coming. I was really shocked. I thought, how are we going to do that? So that was another thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I really liked the story. I really liked the, um, I really liked the narrative itself. And I liked the fact that it was true that this happened to somebody and I could see it. It was very cinematic to me. I knew it would be a good, I knew it would be a good film. I really liked the character. I liked that it was sad and it was funny. I love how much she loved. Um, I thought it was well written um, and I thought people would be able to relate to it. Um, Okay, so Van is yeah, so we're a couple who have separated. We're co-parenting. We have two little girls. Uh, we live near each other, and yeah, we're sort of rocking along, sort of kind of okay. Um, I think Van is, you know, a slightly sort of eternal boy, um, kind of youthful in his energy, um, uh, but maybe not the most sort of uh, reliable human being. Maybe not the most reliable partner. Um, yeah, that's that's what he is at the big. Well, uh, but uh, through the kind of breakup, uh, he's had to grow up a bit, and um, yeah, that's sort of where we are when we start. Did you watch it? Uh, no, uh, unfortunately. I didn't no, think I so. Didn't, I, didn't, I, I was didn't, just checking <laughs> your question. I didn't have to share. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I was just checking. You see, um, I um, what can I say about my character? She's um, publisher. She's a publisher and she has successful. a successful publisher and she's, you know, gets on with life pretty well and she's pretty, uh, has, likes to have a good fun with her friends and she's quite, likes to have, you know, got a very good sense of humour and she has a good relationship with her ex. That's how it starts. And she has two kids with him and they all have a good relationship. Um, well, she's a doctor and uh, she's married to a man, but she also has a husband who died and she drives the car that he used to drive that he left her and in that car she really remains connected to her dead husband and it's it's kind of difficult having these two realities exist at the same time and she has to really find a way of bringing the past into the future or letting it go we met 
we hadn't met before. We met a little bit on FaceTime and we knew of each other through mutual friends that we'd worked with. And, um, but we were quarantined together in a hotel in Dublin before we started filming. So we got to know each other very well for that amount of time in the hotel. It was a very Quick. useful quarantine. Yeah. It really helped with the, with the actual project in the end. Yeah. I mean, I, th I found the hardest one, um, you telling the scene where you reveal the diagnosis. Yeah, that was, was the that hardest one. Hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because you know, see, it's a, um, it's a, a large thing to try and um, make truthful. You know, how, what are, what are those conversations really like? And so to bring that to life properly, that felt like a, a bit of responsibility with that. Yeah. Uh, favorite one. Um, I actually really like doing the, the what the last scene we shot. I well, know. when they kind of first get back together. I know. That was I good like though, it. that was a good one. I like, oh, I've got such nice memories of doing the whole job. I loved it. It was it was really difficult. My very first day of shooting, I was shooting um, some very, this very emotional speech that I have with my husband. And we were in a studio <clears throat> and there was nobody there in the car. It was just me by myself. It was hard, but it was good. It was, I like a challenge. Um, I, lo I, I love all the scenes that I have with Tom Burke, all the scenes where my husband is still alive, where we talk, and all of the stuff that were the flashbacks. I, lo I loved shooting all those scenes. Um, I think that they're really uplifting. I think that they connect us, and that telling stories of real people's stories makes people feel less like this is happening to movie stars on the screen, but really this is ha stories that are happening to us. So it maybe makes us feel more connected.